Today on the channel, we head to the Jazzwares Vault again for a one of 5,000 exclusive Brody Lee. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Jazzwares Vault unboxing and review. And today we got the Ring of Honor flashback, one of 5,000, Brody Lee. But for all your Brody Lee needs and a whole lot more, ringside collectibles, use discount code Kyle, save yourself 10%. Gotta get a deal out there. And we hop into our big rig for this latest and greatest Brody Lee figure. Of course, probably not available as of filming at ringside, but it will be in the future. We're seeing all the Jazzwares Vault, all the Mattel Creation stuff, also going to ringside collectibles, so it's a game of math which one you do prefer. And I've been a little bit uh, perturbed as of late because I buy all these things right away and about two weeks later the Jazzwares Vault always says, hey, great discount, free shipping, or 25% off. You're really getting the customer that are supporting you on day one a little bit antsy saying, hey, wait a minute, what are we doing here? And it makes me want to wait on future releases, wait for a sale, wait for a deal, because we all got to get a deal somehow, some way. So we'll see where that goes in the future as well. But look for this at the Jazzwares Vault or possibly Ringside Collectibles, depending when you are watching this. But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's dive in. Of course, the vault, all kinds of packaging going on. Got the cardboard outer cover here of Brody Lee. Big rig Brody Lee. Uh, man, a cup of coffee in Ring of Honor. And it feels like they're trying to get all they can out of the memory of Brody Lee with the different looks they have access to. And I don't remember him hardly at all in Ring of Honor. I think I remember one match I saw when uh, Ring of Honor was on AXS, Access TV, whatever it was back in the day. Uh, I believe that's where uh, TNA is in this day and age. See you later. Goodbye. But I remember him seeing there one time. Next thing I knew, he was in NXT. So that's the way it goes from time to time. But here we do. We got Brody Lee going on. We got the slipcase cover over the front. Uniform packaging for the Ring of Honor. Brody Lee down low. Glamour shot on the side. Brody Lee, Brody Lee. And number nine in Series 2 for those keeping track at home. Brody Lee once again. Nothing too fun on the front there. But of course, slide him all out. See you later. Goodbye, like a young Chris Mullen shooting a free throw. That's what it was like right there. Brody Lee looking only like a Brody Lee could look if he was in Ring of Honor. A little bit weird. I can't wait to get this out of the package because he does look weird inside the package to me. One of 5,000 sticker right there. Of course, Brody Lee down here. Ring of Honor, extra heads, all that stuff. Brody Lee, Brody Lee, Brody Lee. So there you go. Uh, but let's get him out of the package here. Let's figure it out, I guess. you got to be smarter than the package to unbox them. That is one thing. I'm still learning, folks. Still learning how to unbox these figures. Brody Lee coming out. See you later. Goodbye. A little cardboard going on. See you later. Off to the side. And there it is. Uh-oh. Lost a hand. Plastic prison. Getting a little handsy with old Brody Lee. Losing some stuff. And you could really make two different figures out of this one if you wanted to as well. No twist ties here. You know I'm here for that. I'm sick of twist ties. I've had my fill of twist ties here in 2024. Brody Lee, see you later. Goodbye. And there is that extra hand. Let's start off with some accessories first. How about, and it looks like it's going to be the hands is what we're going to start off with. Two fists of Brody Lee Fury out of the package. You got two gripping hands going on. You got two splayed out hands going on. So choose your own hand adventure, as we do say here on the channel. But let's dive into the head sculpts on this one. And it feels like a Brody Lee body from Jazzwares, but man, it just, this head sculpt feels strange to me. It feels strange. I, I just, it's not like a real scan. It feels like, and I'm sure they did, they went back, saw his Ring of Honor matches, and sculpted a head based off that. But it makes it feel different look different than the rest of the Jazzwares wrestling figures does that make sense that's at least how it looks to me here uh and something about that facial hair too he's got the big sideburns here these sideburns would make the late great Mike Nesmith blush shout out to Mike Nesmith one of the all-time greats so underrated uh but he does got some big old chops there got a little flavor saver as well got very nice teeth ring of honor must have had a heck of a dental plan back in the day Two eyes, two ears, a nose, and a mouth, playing all those human hair features. 
uh, looking good or human features, hair looking good. How about that? Trying to combine that into one sentence didn't really work out. Uh, but looking good in the head sculpt, but just feels off to me. Feels cartoony is what I will say. Now the second head sculpt here, looking a little bit more like Bruiser Brody. And I guess the fitting I'm wearing the shirt here, I didn't plan that, but I guess it makes sense. Looking a little bit more Bruiser Brody-like here. Smiling head on this one. I think I do prefer this head sculpt. This one is very different, but I think I do prefer this one. Got the more wild hair in the back as well. Uh, and this one feels cartoony, but this one feels more cartoony to me. Your mileage may vary, but that's my opinion on those heads. Now getting down to the body for him here. It does say the big rig Brody Lee on the soft goods kind of shirt going over the top. Looking interesting there. It looks like you've got a little rubber band action around him as well. That is to hold that shirt into place so it doesn't kind of roll up on you, I guess, is what that one does. This just removes very easily right over the top. Just a nice little thin piece of uh, shirt there, I guess. Soft good shirt. Underneath that, he does got the wife beater going on. So he's ready to beat all the wives. Beat every single one of them if he needs to. Uh, but kind of a mangy wife beater uh, for the big rig Brody Lee. Uh, kind of reminds you of him, of course, as Luke Harper in the WWE NXT as well. He does got some of these handkerchiefs around his wrist. That is pretty cool. These are real kind of handkerchiefs. They feel real. Uh, I do like that attention to detail. You got one in blue, one in black. So that does look very nice. Two Fist of Fury we did talk about there. Now we do get the wife beater underneath that. You got a little bit of chest hair poking out. Jazz wears, what say you? You want to get some real fur chest hair on one of these figures? Let's do it, huh? Let's get it done. Jax did it back in the day. I've been challenging Mattel to it. Mattel refuses to accept the physical challenge. That's what Mark Summers, when he was on the couch, said, challenge him, do a physical challenge with him. Everybody accepts the physical challenge. Nobody turns the physical challenge down. Well, I'll tell you right now, Mattel said no physical challenge for us. Maybe Jazzwares. Jazzwares, challenging you to the physical challenge. Let's get some real fur chest hair. Make it a chase. Make it a variant. Let's do it one time. Let's make it special for your old boy, Kyle. I want to see it one time. We'll see. Maybe in the future. Uh, we do got buggy whip arms, as they would say on here. He's got a big body, but his arms are a little bit thinner. I think he could have used maybe one size up uh, as far as that goes. Blue jeans down below. Looks like a mechanic. Looks like he's getting ready to work in the shop or something like that. Got some grimy uh, pants going on. Needs a good cleaning. But his shoes, spot on. I heard he was at the mall recently. Saw one of those shoe shiners. Got his uh, shoes all shined up real good. Uh, looks real nice right here. Now articulation, arms do go all the way around right there. Bicep cut, double jointed, pinned elbows for this one. Of course, those big old pins in there. Hands back and forth, side to side. Head back and forth, side to side. Removable. Hula hoop up top for those keeping track at home. Waist articulation. Those big old Brody Lee splits. How about those? Leg goes up. No bounce back. We're seeing bounce back with Mattel. We're not seeing it with Jazzwear, so take note of that. Thigh cut. Double jointed pin knees. Ankles back and forth, up and down. A little bit limited. Got those bell bottoms going on, of course. And he should fit on a Mattel Jazzwear's AEW stand. Man, oh man. Fits perfectly right there on the stand. The old big rig himself, Brody Lee. Ready to tussle one last time, this time in the Ring of Honor line. But this isn't the only Brody we've had. We did get a more modern, I guess, end of career Brody Lee. Uh, we saw him when he was the Exalted One, part of the Dark Order, of course. So we saw kind of the differences between those. And then throwing it way back in the day, back to Mattel, you do got him part of the Wyatt family, of course. So some very good Luke Harper, uh, Brody Lee, big rig Brody Lee figures over the years. All very similar, but all very different at the same time, which I do like that. That shows kind of growth and differences between the character over the years, uh, but looking very good. I'm not sure if this will be our last Brody King. Brody King, I'm still trying to find the key to Brody King's heart, uh, but I'm going to try to find the key to Brody Lee's heart is what I'm going to try to find here. But I'm not sure if this is the last Brody Lee figure we've gotten or we will get. Will we get more in the future? I guess I don't know what else they could do from AEW. I guess we'll just have to stay tuned for that, see what happens, uh, all things considered. But there it is. That's Brody Lee, the big rig version from Ring of Honor, the Jazzwares Vault exclusive. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on this one. Is this one worth the pickup for you? Enough meat on the bone for this one for you? Let me know in the comments down below. And, of course, you've seen this video. You might as well like it. It always helps the channel when you thumbs up the videos. Subscribe to this channel and my other YouTube channel. Check out the Patreon for early access to all the videos here on the channel. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Pick up a t-shirt. You can also grab my book, now available in Kindle. It is the complete guide to the Jax Classic Superstar series. A labor of love if there ever was one. And don't forget to follow along on social media. SirPaul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Brody Lee, I'm Kyle. 
see you guys all real soon.